Hey there, this is Debashi and in this video I'm going to cover the latest deployments that went live for group member. One of the major deployments is the publishing process for memberships. So from now on any membership that you create will by default be in the draft mode and from that draft mode you have to publish it to make it live. So let me uh, start by creating a membership. Alright, so we have filled out this membership form and now we will go and create the membership and then as soon as we create this membership if we go out back in the dashboard you will see that this membership is in draft mode so basically your audience can't access this membership if you try to open this website membership website it will not show anything okay because this is in draft mode so now what we need to do is to complete this membership let's add a couple of courses to this okay so once I have added these courses my membership is now complete and then you can go ahead and create the access levels and stuff so now let me go out to the membership dashboard and to the members li membership list and from here I can click this button and publish it so as soon as I publish this my membership website URL is active and as you can see now my membership website is active and the two courses that I added show up in the membership website Okay, so that is one of the significant deployments that we have done. Now let's move on to the next ones. Alright, so this is default text on website pages. Let's go into the membership website and customize your membership. And this is something that is implemented for the membership website. <clears throat> so earlier um, uh, there was a different text which said edit this uh, statement to update it but then we realized that as and when we switched pages you know we couldn't figure out on which page we were working on so that's why right now whatever page that we are on we have added that default text and you can you know override these if you want so that is one improvement that we have done next is login and logout view so the login and logout view is only visible in the home screen so till now we had the login view we could see the login view as you can see the user profile and you can see this segregation of my courses and other courses the my courses show the courses that your user has bought and the other courses shows the courses that they have not purchased but they are that are available inside the membership okay so that was the login view now we have also created the logged out view in the logged out view you will see that you don't have this segregation of my courses and other courses you rather have a block of all the courses that shows all the courses that are available in the membership and the reason for doing that is um, in the login view we could update this label okay so let's say my instead of my courses let's say here purchase courses and available courses all right so you can also update these lab labels these labels were not um, you know getting updated so we have fixed that bug also right and in the log out view instead of all courses you can write something as all available courses all right so basically we did this because there was no option to update the label in the logged out view okay and you had the option to update the labels in the login view 
so that's why we got the logged out view where you can use this function and then you can update the label in the logged out view set minimum height of all pages in the website yeah so uh, initially the minimum height of the pages in the website were not correct uh, I'll give you an example let's view this page so initially what was happening is this height this footer was coming on top now we have added a minimum uh, height of this page add example only on hover yeah this is basically this part in the home screen so this css was gone we have added this example only to make users understand that this is something that is just for you to understand how the courses will appear and this is not an actual course okay so that's the logged out view and this is the logged in view you will have this example only once you hover on these courses able to update course labels yeah that's i just now i explained that you can update these labels right we have seen that and then show height banner okay so this was a function that was not working that was available but was not working before so basically if you go to banner settings and if you do this show banner if you turn it off and save it then the banner is gone okay so this was uh, available but the, there was some bug it was not working so now we have fixed that bug all right so now next is do not show metadata settings when an external page type is selected so this is basically when you add a new page let's say let's add groove affiliate and then you can add your affiliate link and that affiliate link is the external url so you see if it is an internal page we have these all these meta data settings where you can add meta keywords descriptions and you can add tracking codes and stuff but for an external page we really don't need that so here you can add your affiliate link okay and it gets added so yeah that's the update that for external page we don't need the metadata settings uh, in earlier it was appearing now we have removed that next is list and grid view okay so this is something that again we have to go to the home page for and now you see these options list view and grid view so these options were available but they were not working okay and so now this is the list view if i save my uh, courses in the list view it will also appear the same in the membership website earlier it was appearing as uh, a grid no matter uh, you know what setting you do here so let's go to home and you see it's appearing as list next is chapter sidebar on template one should collapse now this is the fix that we did in template one so let's go to courses and let's find template one all right so this is template one and basically um, the change here is on this sidebar um, the chapter was kind of working as a hub page and now it is working as a um, as a collapse so what was happening is if I click the chapter here let me add a few lessons inside the chapters all right so earlier what was happening is if we clicked on the chapter here from the sidebar it would have taken me to the hub page like this right from the sidebar okay 
so we don't want that we want these less uh, these modules and chapters the hub pages to work as collapse elements here so that's what we fixed here the plus button to add sections yeah so earlier the plus button was a little uh, faulty because if I clicked on the edges of these it didn't open the pop-up now wherever you click whether you click on the edges or on the plus it would easily open the pop-up the course featured image and tile resolution so now we have fixed the course featured image here or uh, you know the featured image any featured image we have fixed the uh, image size to be of the ratio 16 is to 9 and we will soon be updating uh, the recommended image sizes that you can use so this course featured image you can access it from the global course library you can go to settings and you can add any course featured image the ideal recommended size of adding a course featured image is always 16 is to 9 uh, okay and we will be having the recommended image sizes here uh, very soon z index issue with access type drop down for the last content let's go to a membership that has access level so this last content if we had click here this would have this was getting cut off now you can see all the options so we have fixed this while switching to members analytics screen was showing okay so this is again something very subtle uh, hardly noticeable but what was happening is if we go to membership dashboard and wherever we are let's say we are on memberships or any place when we switch to members here this transiently showed analytics so we have fixed that tool tip on member screen let's see some members see all these members now when I hover over here initially there was no tooltip to suggest what this button is for but now we have added those tooltips bullet points and listing not appearing on the dotnet side so let's go and check out a membership that has bullet points as you can see this membership has bullet points right and let's see this is module 2 part 6 now the issue was that these bullet points were not appearing properly on the dotnet site so we have fixed that bug user limit and publish membership we already saw the publish membership uh, thing banner settings so this is something that we have added here for banners you know you click here and then your banner settings open up and you can directly choose the type of banner that you want okay. then mobile and tablet view of template 2 the mobile and tablet view of template 2 was not uh, correct it was distorted so we have corrected that let's go to a membership that has template 2 all right so this has template tool so let's see let's log in as admin and let's squeeze it to see the mobile view you see this is the mobile view which is coming just fine the menu is all good the profile is good and let's go inside the module So this is the module all right so this view has been fixed color palette CSS click on the banner so basically the issue was with one of the color palettes that was unable to close we were unable to close that so basically when we opened this we have to click on this cross button to close it now we can click outside and close the entire thing altogether empty module and chapter page for template 2 so 
in the template too we were having some issues with the structure of an empty module so for example if I deleted everything inside this module then this screen was not coming properly now this screen is coming correctly and the same goes at the chapter level so let's go to the chapter there's nothing inside this chapter so this screen has been corrected so these are all the deployments that went live